Today, students in the Copley Fairlawn District remembered the recent shooting tragedy there on the first day of their new school year. Friends, classmates, and staff members at the high school paused to remember two students killed during a shooting spree 18 days ago. News Channel 5's Bob Jones is live in our bureau at the Akron Beacon Journal with more. Hi, Bob. Well, Tracy, for some of the students, the first day at Copley High School was very difficult and challenging, but we also found out the kids are getting a lot of support to help them cope with the Copley tragedy. With mixed emotions, Copley High students returned for another school year. Many felt upbeat about getting back into the classroom, but also heavy-hearted that two of their classmates will not be sitting alongside of them. It's terrible to lose someone in the Copley family, even if you didn't know them, but you feel bad for everyone. Just that knowing that someone's missing or multiple people are missing now. Two 16-year-old girls, Autumn Johnson, known for her love of bike racing, and her friend Amelia Shamba, remembered for her smile and dedication to animals, were among the seven people killed when Michael Hans went on a shooting rampage in Copley Township. Today, the district paused for a moment of silence in all of its school buildings. Just out of respect for the families and, and out of respect for the victims, I think it's very important that um, our students just pay a moment of silence and, and tribute uh, to those that were lost in this tragedy. At school assembly, students were also reminded that counselors and psychologists are on hand to lend an ear or help with the grieving process. If anyone can't be like in the classroom, they need someone to talk to, that they are our counselors down in the office for them to go talk to. The district is also working on a tribute to Amelia and Autumn. The final details will be worked out with their families. We certainly are going to plan something once we've had some time uh, to work through the, the grieving and, and to try and start the healing process. It could take a long time for this town to heal, but Copley is getting there with support from each other at a time when it's needed the most. Real close knit. Uh, everyone, most people know each other, and just everyone's there for everybody. And tonight, Superintendent Brian Poe tells me that they've also posted some information on their website to help people with the grieving process through all of this. That information is not only meant for the students, but for the parents as well. Live in our bureau at the Akron Beacon Journal tonight, Bob Jones, News Channel 5. Bob, I think it was so encouraging to see that students are helping other students get through this real challenging time. Right, as that one student, Zach, I talked to said, it's a real close-knit community. A lot of people are sort of rallying around each other to try to help themselves through this very difficult time. All right, thank you very much, Bob.